guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Bailey. If you are new here, and today I thought it would be a really fun video to do um, unique baby names that we will not be using. So we already have our baby names picked out. We've had them picked out since we started dating in high school. All of our babies will be, their names will start with the letter S and we have two for a boy. Well, we have three for a boy and two for a girl. So these, none of these names are even close to what we'll be using. We already have ours picked out, but I love these names. I think they are so cute and very unique. Like I am only ever, I only know of one little boy that lives around here with this one name on my list. So I have 10 boys and 10 girls. That may seem like a lot, but you know, make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna start with boys. Now, if we didn't like already have our names picked out and we didn't like know exactly what our boys names were going to be, then I would definitely be picking off of this list. We decided to go with all S's because I just think that's really cool when you see a family that has all the same letter and since me and Bailey had the exact same name, I didn't want to even, I didn't want to have them to be associated with our name like at all, like I didn't want them to have any B's or anything like that, just so they could be apart from us because we already get the whole thing like, oh, you should name them Bailey joke all the time. So yeah, we just wanted them to be in their like own little section, not even close to our name, so they all have S's, like Stratton's is Stratton, Scott, Wilhelm, and all of our baby's middle names will have our parents' middle names, so that is his dad's middle name. And then our next boy's middle name will be my stepdad's middle name. And then our first girl will be my mom's, if we are ever fortunate enough to have a girl. So, jumping in, the first boy name that I absolutely love, and this little boy does live around us, so that's where I got it from, but his name is Beckett. Like, how cute is that? Beckett? Like, that is adorable. I absolutely love that. The second one is Cohen with a C. I think that's adorable. Um, one of my good friends was going to name her baby boy Cohen if it was a boy, but it was a girl. And I think that is the most adorable name ever. The third one is Atticus. Now, you don't hear this name very often. It's very old timey, very unique. I don't ever hear like a little boy's name Atticus. I hear an older man because it is like that fits them more, but I just think that's adorable. The next one is Caspian. I don't know any little boy's this name. I just think it's very cute. Just a little, little boy named Caspian. I think that's adorable. The next one is Badger. That might be so weird for some of you guys, but I just think, you know, like a little country boy named Badger. I think that's adorable and I absolutely love that name. The next one is Juniper. Like, I think this would be perfect for a girl and a boy, honestly. I love them for both and I just think that's so cute. I just love it. A little Juniper. So cute. The seventh one is Porter. Now, I'm pretty sure I heard this off of a movie once, and I was just like, wow, that is adorable. Porter, like, that kind of sounds like a last name, but it's not. Oh, I'm sure there are people's last names that are Porter, but I just think that's so cute for a little boy. Now, when I <laughs> picture all these boy names, I don't picture them growing up as an adult with that name. I just picture them little cute little babies and toddlers with these cute, adorable names, and I just think Porter. Oh, that's so cute. Number eight is Brazen. Now, I've never heard of this before. I've seen it. I was reading an article once and I seen the name. Sorry, there was a hair floating in here. But I seen the name Brazen and I think that's so cute. I also think this would be really cute for a girl. Just like Braylon goes for a girl and a boy. And I just think Brazen, that's so cute. And I think that's very unique. Like I said, I've never heard it. I was just reading it in an article one day. And I think it's adorable. Now, number nine is Stone. Now, we would totally name our son this. This isn't on our name list, but since we only have three boy names that we know for sure that we're going to be using, if we have a fourth boy, then I could totally see us naming our son Stone. I 
think that's just very manly of a name and I think that's very unique like I have never heard of that name just like I had never heard of Stratton but I immediately fell in love with it and I knew that that was going to be our first boy's name. Bailey actually came up with all of our boy names and I came up with all of our girls but I know that if I were to tell him Stone he would be like yeah definitely like I love that. So if we are to have a fourth boy in No Girls then I think that would this would be one that we would definitely name our son. Now the tenth one, the very last one, I've absolutely never heard of this. I just seen it on Pinterest once when I was looking for girl or boy names like so long ago, like before we were even like married, thinking about having kids or anything like that. And it is a Dresden. Now I feel like that is very unique and I love that name. That's just very like ooh. Like he's gonna be he's gonna be something one day, you know? Like if you hear that name Dresden. It's very cool to me so that is it for our boy names i love well not our boy names but that's it for all the boy names that i have written down i love those names those are definitely my top 10 favorite boy names like if i were in ever the need to come up with a boy name and i didn't already know what they were going to be for our future children then i would definitely be picking one of those and I'm going to be looking up, or not looking up, but I'm going to be talking about girls' names. I am not, I love boy names more than I like girl names. I don't know. I don't even know where I got my girl names, but, like, I just, they just randomly popped in my head one day, and I'm like, yes, those are going to be my girls' names if I ever am blessed enough to have girls. So I don't, I'm not a fan. Like, I, I love girl names. I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm not, I'm not a fan, but I just don't ever... I'm not ever drawn to girl names like I am boy names. Like I'm more likely to look at boy names and fall in love with boy names than I am girl names, if that makes sense. So, for my first girl name, it is Huxley. Now, this was actually on a boy side when I was looking up boy unique boy names a while ago. And I was like, wow, that kind of sounds cute for a girl. So I am obviously drawn to <laughs> both sex names, like obviously Bailey and Bailey, like that's both sex name. And there were a couple on the boys list that I think would look, that would be awesome for a girl too. And I think Huxley is so cute for a girl and a boy. Like I think a boy would be so cute with that name too, but I love it for a girl. The second one is Lachlan. It's cute, like Lachlan. That kind of sounds like a little British girl to me, honestly. Like you're watching a British movie or something and a little girl's on it. Then I think like, that would fit a little British girl named Lachlan. Oh, so cute. Third girl name is Alea. I don't think I've ever heard of this name, honestly. I think that it just popped up once when I was reading. And it's so cute. I've never, like I don't know anybody. I've never seen anybody name their daughter. Alea, and I think that's so cute though. Oh, so cute. My next one would be Briar. So, going down the list, you'll notice that you'll notice that I like a lot of the girl names that end with like an uh, like Alea and Briar, and there are a few more on here that end like that. I just think those are such cute names for girls, and I think they fit girls so much, and I love them. Although, oddly enough, our girl names that we will be using go in like that. So, the next one is Della. I think that's just such a cute little girly name. It's very fit for girls. It's very girly, a little Della. And I feel like if I were to ever have girls, they would be very girly because I'm very girly. And I just think that's such a, for like a cute little girl named Della. How many times can I say cute in this video? My sixth one would be Holland. I think that is cute for a boy and a girl also. And I think, I don't know, I just think that's so cute of a name. And I feel like that's a very sophisticated name. The next one is Luella. I think that's so cute. I actually saw this on a like unique names list like a really long time ago for girls. And I also think it'd be really cute for a middle name. Like, I think I might honestly want to use it for our second girl's middle name. 
I think that'd be really cute. But anyways, getting off topic. But I think Luella is super cute and classy and very girly as well. Number eight is Nalani. I think that's very cute. Uh, like it kind of just sounds like a princess name to me, Nalani. I think that's very cute. Next, number nine is Opal. I've seen this off of a movie once and now I can't think of what it was off of, but Opal, I think that's the most adorable little girl name ever. Just a little opal girl like i feel like it's very girly as well but in its own way if that makes sense like it's not like one of the girliest names out there but it would be very suited for a girly little girl my last name my last name is royal now i used to work in a nursing home taking care of the elders like a really long time ago and there was this cute little old lady and her last name was royal and i loved that her name was eleanor royal and i love that name i think it's so cute i also really like the name eleanor for a little girl that is very old school but i think that is a very sophisticated name as well those are my 20 unique names 10 for boys 10 for girls so if you any of you are pregnant out there and you need some name ideas then i hope you found this very helpful I love all of these names, but we will not be using any of them because we already have our names picked out. I will not be sharing what those names are because I've never told anybody them besides my husband and I just plan to keep it that way until our little babies are born. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear some like names that you think are very unique in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel before you leave so you can always hang out with the Wilhelm fam and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.